I don't know. I are we back yet? Yep, I got bounced over there to this side. So I don't know. I kept trying to type in chat in the other place, but nobody would. We do. Okay. this stream now I'm shutting down the other stream okay I have no idea what happened there but we're we got kicked out so Sorry about that, guys. Let me uh, do this now. We're going to do uh, this one after this. We're going to do impeccable. Here we go. This one died too? Or are we good? I hope we're okay. Did this one die? I hope not. I just looked frozen. I know it's late. 
This is my 3.15 a.m. look. It's a dead man's party. Who could ask for more? Everybody come and leave your body at the door. Leave your body checked in at the door. Don't run away. It's only me. Need the vitamin B12, that's right. Begin the day with a friendly voice and companion unobtrusive. Plays that song that's so elusive and the magic music makes your morning mood. Up and away in the open road, there's magic at your fingers. Boom, did he shaka? Let's do this. All right, thanks again for the fill, ladies and gentlemen. Break 108, those are your teams. I am Soccer Breakers FC. If you're interested in joining our breaks, join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. Check us out on our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. Follow us on Instagram, Soccer Breakers, just plain old Soccer Breakers, no FC on Instagram. Uh, planning on doing Tier 1. PYT site. No, Moritz. Unfortunately, that was all the tier one I had. I don't know. The prices have dropped so much. Let me see if I can find because I got killed on the tier one. But now if I can buy it at like really low prices, then maybe, uh, you know, we can do some. But the prices have dropped like so much on uh, blowout. I just had two cases left, so I just kind of blew them out. Uh, it's probably, honestly, it would be very hard to do PYT, Moritz, because generally speaking, uh, most teams don't sell. I don't have a huge Bundesliga following. The random teams sell because everybody, I mean, unless I held back like Bellingham, if I held back Bellingham and, you know, maybe like Bayern and sold the rest, that way if you have like a PC team, you guys could buy it. And then, you know, Bellingham and Bayern would be like part of the, uh, maybe like a serial number random at the end or something. You know, that might work. But otherwise, you know, once Bellingham sells, it'll be very difficult to get some of those teams sold. Yeah, I tier one would be nice for uh, champions. It would be a lot nicer, you know, especially with those sick patches. I mean, that would be awesome.
All right, here we go. Uh, Limer. Yeah, I think Lewandowski. Are you talking about uh, tier one? I think he only has a one of one, right? Baumgartlinger. Kai Havertz. There's Mbappe. Frankie de Jong. There's Felix. There's Lewandowski. Jaden Sancho. Refractor. Zelensky. Uh, Griezmann. Germany. Matthias. Ginter. Oh, there it is. Boom, shakalaka. Goal. Golasso, golasso para Belgica. Boom, diddy. KDB. KDB. KDB, oh, KDB. Speaking words of wisdom, KDB. And when the night is cloudy, there is still a light that shines on me. Shine until tomorrow, KDB. Boom Diddy. Who's got Belgium? Belgium, Igor. Congrats, Igor. Yeah, Troy, they really are. I think what happened was, you know, soccer prices went up so high and they were just trying to cash in the room and they started overproducing and uh, Jaden Sancho. And quite frankly, the quality just, well, I shouldn't say with tops, the quality has been decent, been pretty good, but also just too many products, you know. But uh, with Panini, it's been both. I mean, more production and quality has been diminishing as well so you just start throwing a ton of crap at people you know it's it's not going to work i mean eventually people catch on and that crazy market of last year during covid that was kind of a little bit of a freak thing too you know everybody stuck at home you know nothing to do spending money online that's that ship has sailed so they need to go back to like normal now from the standpoint of, and you know, the soccer market just isn't basketball and football yet. 16 of 60, it's grown a lot. Okay, it's, it's great, but you can't, it's not at a place where it can sustain a new product every month, like with triple the production of what it was last year. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've yeah, I mean, I'll talk to them again. I've tried, but, uh, I 
from the top. They need to slow it down a little bit. Kudryashov, I mean, I don't think they should go back to like four or five products a year, but at the same time, don't do like 30, 40 products. You just can't sustain that. I mean, I'd be fine with like one product a month between the two companies. So like Panini put out six products, Tops put out six products. To me, that would be kind of ideal, Frankie de Young. But when they're putting out products every, you know, every week, it's, it's difficult. De Young. And then, I mean, from a business perspective, it's difficult too because they expect, you know, me and other breakers and stores to buy a lot to support the product. But, you know, it's hard to buy a lot when the very next week, the, you know, a new product's coming out. So if I'm going to buy 40 cases of Chronicles and then get hit the following week with Chrome, you know, how are you going to possibly move that much product in a week? So... Yeah. And what they're doing is they're bumping the prices like a lot. So, you know, it used to be, you you know, the allocated prices were very low. Now the allocated prices have like, on a, some of the products have like quadrupled. They went from like being a hundred dollars a box to being like 350 a box on the allocations. So for products coming out later. So it's, I don't know, I don't, honestly, at some point you wonder if, it's going to stay allocated because, you know, if they start allocating product at $400 a box, are people going to really want to take their allocations at $400 a box? If it's going to be selling for $300 like a week later? Emil Hoiberg. Burak Ilmaz, Pavat. I mean, I think we'll adjust. I honestly, I think either way, Havertz. If it's a good, I mean, I'm a little more experienced now because you just have to be careful with what you buy. Embolo. Uh, De Bruyne, sixty-three of seventy-nine. Hashtag save the trees. That's right. Tell you what, KDB is killing this break to Ziva 2, oh my goodness. Boom Diddy, that is sick. What a Trent Alexander Arnold X Factor Silver Prism. That should be numbered to 25. It is 18 of 25. I think they could see, I mean, honestly, I don't know. On certain products, I mean, look at tier one. Tier one right now is, they're selling tier one right now at under what I paid for it. So, you know, it's tier one's going for like ridiculously low prices because, uh, especially with tops, because I don't know, like Panini has a little bit more of a structure on their pricing, but with top stuff, that used to happen all the time. Like, you know, a top product would come out and my cost would be like $95 a box. And like a week later, I'd see like, Blowout selling it for like $79 a box. I'm like, how the heck can they sell it for $79 when my cost is, you know, my wholesale cost is $95. Yeah. That used to happen all the time. That's why I hardly ever ordered a lot of uh, tops because it was very risky. Panini had like set prices where you couldn't go below for the first like month. Uh, they had like not protected prices so people couldn't like drop them like crazy. But so it could go back to that. I'll just give you an example on like uh, finest used to be like about on pre-sale it used to be about a hundred hundred and ten dollars a box or something like that hundred and twenty maybe max. Now it's gone up to like three seventy I think on pre-sale, 
And so now it's selling for like 700 on blowout. Well, that's great. If you can get it at 370 and sell it for 700, that's wonderful. But you're not gonna, you know, I mean, I guarantee you that's not gonna stay at 700 unless, you know, it's like has Mbappe signatures or something crazy like that. So within a week that could drop down to 300, 250, then you're losing, you know, $100 a box. And that wouldn't be, I mean, at this point in this market, 114 of 225. That's why I'm saying like out allocations may become a thing of the past again. And you just basically order what you want. Tim Sparve. Yeah, I mean, honestly, a happy medium would be nice. They did get a little bit too expensive. And I think it went to a lot of the manufacturers heads thinking that hey you know soccer is like basketball and you know it's gonna caught be like crazy and you know it's just not especially not for the kind of value that you're getting you know the resale just isn't there with soccer compared to basketball ryan Giggs, boom diddy shaka wales yoshi that is not numbered but still six 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 yeah, I mean, I think basketball, everything's dropping right now because, again, last year, I think, was a little bit of a fluke. I mean, I don't know how it worked and everything with the, with the pandemic, but I think that definitely had uh, some type of an effect on the card market. Hard to say, uh, Jimmy, you know, Chrome is one of those products that, you know, is is a good product. So can, it, it, I think it could go down a little bit more. I don't think Chrome will tank like some of the other products, but like, I mean, look at EPL Prism. I mean, EPL Prism is a good example of what happens when you overproduce a product and it's not very good. The difference between EPL Prism and Chrome is that Chrome is actually a lot better because it has a lot of, you know, good rookies and, you know, Forget the autos. I don't even care about the autos. The autos, sure, the autos are, are better probably in most Panini products, but it, it's all about the rookies. And uh, Chrome is loaded with a lot of really good rookies. Yeah, again, that's, that's another thing, the print run, correct. 61 of 175. Because, you know, you start making hobby, and then I, I don't know, I haven't done it, but then I heard there's like 50,000 boxes of... Uh, you know blasters or whatever so i don't you know if that's the case it's it's hard to because a lot of the price hikes were driven by the base card market that's why like donruss 18 is a good example if you look at the one we just did 2018 donruss they're going for about 2500 a box they went up to like 3000 a box they dropped a little bit but uh actually it went up to like almost 4,000 a box at one point. But anyway, uh, the reason is because there's so many good rookies and, you know, there's, in every box, you get a ton of base cards and people were grading them and selling them for big bucks. So the value was there. But in this year's product, like Chronicles would be the opposite of that. Chronicles from last year was, was good because you had Fati and you had Mount and you had uh, Greenwood and you know lots of other decent rookies too. Selic, there were some Italian rookies. There was the Japanese guy uh, Kovalenko. But this year's Chronicles, I mean, look at what happened to Chronicles. Well, I don't even know where it is now, but it went from like seven hundred a box. Now it's at like three fifty and dropping. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do this right now after this break. Uh, it's full already, but we're going to do it right after this break. Tony Cross. I don't think right now it is, Darren, but it was like two months ago, three months ago when it first came out and it was six, seven hundred dollars a box. Then, yes, it was very overpriced. 
you know, at 200 a box on Breakaway and maybe like, I don't know, what's Hobby at now? 400 a box? It probably might drop a little bit more on, on Hobby, I think. Could drop down to around 3 350 and Breakaway could drop down to like 150 Breakaway generally should be about half of what... Uh, what uh, hobby is at one point breakaway was like 500 and hobby was like 700 racketage well that's what i'm saying dpl prism tanked but you know it it really should have never been a six seven hundred dollar a box product if it you know epl always prism should always be like realistically should be a two two fifty product like normally Boom, did he? Luka Modric, Ivan Rakitic. I mean, I think it would still sell fine at like 250 a box, Prism Hobby, and sell like Breakaway for like one, if it sold for like 150 a box and Hobby was at 250 a box. I think it would sell, I mean, you know, it wouldn't set the world on fire, but it would sell fine. Luka Modric and Ivan Rakitic. Boom, shakalaka, 12 of 50. Oh, absolutely. Chrome's a lot better, but Chrome's also like a lot more expensive right now, at least. Christoph, 38 of 79. I mean, Chronicles is okay. The thing about Chronicles is, you know, if it's cheap, you can get in and you know get a decent amount of cards for not as much uh, 154 of 225 I personally prefer spending a little bit more and buying like chrome or, or something like Mbappe normally I'd say prism but this year's EPL prism is a little uh, comme si comme ça uh, Yanko 121 of 175 yeah, Chronicles has dropped uh, a lot. Tell me about it, Felix. Donnarumma, Silva. Miranchuk. Is that what Bundesliga Chrome is at? All right, well, yeah, again, I'll, you know, if you get anybody wants Bundesliga Chrome, I think I've still got like five, six cases of it. I would not, what do I have it at? Do I have it at a lot higher than that? I don't even know what I have it at. Anyway, I'll match uh, Blowout on any of those guys if anybody wants to buy um, Bundesliga Chrome, I would match Blowout. Bundesliga Chrome on blowout. Uh, 359.95. Let's see, what do I have on that? Uh, Bundesliga Chrome. Open live. Ah, Jesus, I got him way up there. No wonder I'm not selling any. All right, you know what? Why not? Yeah, that's the one. It has Mukoko and uh, Bellingham, right? All right. I dropped my, I was at 459, so I just dropped it down to 359. Yeah, never mind. No wonder I haven't sold any. I got to check these prices like every few days. All right. Anyway, if anybody cares, Bundesliga is now three fifty nine ninety five in the store. What's the frequency? Oh, oh. What's that song? REM, right? Mm -hmm, mm. 
Prism to 175. Yanko. Yes, right after this. Uh, Impeccable is right after this. There you go. 359 a box, guys. If anybody wants a box, go ahead and grab them. I can break them for you. Yeah, because Chrome, you get good value. Because even the Mukoko and Bellingham base cards sell well. And you get lucky and hit like a number to 99 Bellingham or Mukoko, you're going to be ahead right there just on that one card. Assuming they're still selling for what they were, or at least decent. Yeah, Stefan, I can. Just go buy the open live in, in the store and uh, I can open it for you today. Yeah, let me know if you can find it in the store. You probably have to refresh it and go to the second page. Do like the view all thing and then go down to the bottom. Oh, there it is. Bundesliga. Is it there? Or did I get it out of there? Oh, there it is, three fifty nine ninety five. open live. There we go. Go ahead, Stefan, thank you. Yeah, just let me know when you grab it, I will uh, do yours. Uh, Burak Ilmaz, let me know if you can wait till after that one, that would be good, because I got a bunch of people waiting on impeccable but right after that I can do anybody else wanting personals too 22 of 125 Varan Arajuri Tufan uh, De Gea Prism, Malinowski, yeah, I have no idea, I have no idea on Sapphire, that's very, I always try to get Sapphire and I never can, so it kind of sucks. Last year I got lucky and got a bunch from Blowout before the craziness. Yeah, $80 would be great. You know, I got lucky last year. I got like 100 boxes at 300 and uh, went up a little bit and we sold like probably half of them at about four four fifty and then the other half just skyrocketed to like seven eight hundred and then it shot up to like almost two thousand but by then they were all gone but I think I had like four or five boxes left but still it was uh yeah world cup prism is good although that even got a little overhyped Jay uh like I have a lot of those stat packs that I would gladly give back at like a little bit of a loss just because uh, they just went up so high that now they are coming back down. But yeah, in general, correct. I mean, they sell for really good value. All right, let's just do a recap. De Gea, Felix, Havertz, uh, Selick. Tata Guillerme, Refractor, Lewandowski, Havertz, De Young, De Young, Darun, Refractor, or Prism, Felix, Lewandowski, Limer, Rookie, Havertz, De Young, Felix, and Lewandowski. Yeah, Hobby is, Hobby is good. Cross. Veron, Grosicki, Christoph, 
Yanko, Declan Rice, Il Sanker, Baron to 60, uh, Burak Yuma's patch, and Burak Yuma's patch again. Wow. Double Burak. Either one is numbered. One is Triumph and one is not Triumph. All right, going up to the wall. A couple of Sancho's. A couple of Mbappe's. We got uh, tie dye Tim Sparve, 14 of 25. We've got Ronaldo, 61 of 175. Trent Alexander Arnold, 18 of 25, X Factor. We had two sick Kevin De Bruyne, one to 79 and one to 49. 47 of 49, 63 of 79. Very nice. Then have a little Ryan Giggs autograph, not numbered. And a little dual autograph, Ivan Perisic, or sorry, Ivan Rakitic and Luka Modric. Ivan Rakitic and Luka Modric, 12 of 50. There you have it. Let me end this. Isak. All right, so this is what did we just break? Euro. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do that impeccable break, and then after that, I'll do any personals. If anybody wants personals, grab them, and after that impeccable break, we'll crank out all the personals.
It's 4 a.m. I must be lonely. I said, baby. Pushed it back an hour because usually I'm lonely at 3 a.m. But that ship has sailed already. No, Jamie, I have not. I have not. And uh, I think after Nationals, that'll be something I'll definitely try to revisit. I know I'm not lonely. I am lucky. I am blessed. That's not right. Okay, I screwed that up. Don't save. What did I just do? Okay, export, export. All right, there we go. That's better. Arsenal filler. Yeah, Everton filler. We've got Fulham filler. West Brown. That's awesome. Twenty three buckaroos. Uh, actually, I did not. Let me see how many more I have, because I think I'm literally down to my last. Uh, well, let me make sure I haven't sold any euro.
two. All right, we're just going to look at the filler now. Filler was 62. Oh, yeah, let me see how many boxes I got left. Of that stuff. Four. Yeah, so actually, I am down to my last four or five boxes of Euro Select. So that means. Two more breaks of Euro Select, and that would wipe me clean. What's last year's Chrome Hobby Box selling for nowadays? Good question. Uh, someone look it up. I will be posting uh, two more Euro uh, breaks here before I go to sleep, guys. Since it is the Euros and since the Euros are going strong, we'll do, uh, I'll post those two in a few minutes. Uh, give me a minute here. All right, Marcel, Troy, Nolan. Marcel, Troy, Nolan, Takata. Mike Bedford, Christian Z Christos Zanetu, and Mike Bedford, Charlie Wells, Casper Hansen, and Clyde. Charlie Wells, Casper Hansen, and Clyde. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other two should be on PayPal. Jay Sullivan is there, got him, and should be Jaron Sayeki, got him as well. So we're good to go. Yeah, and that's about what they've been going. They've been going for right around two grand uh, the last three, four months, Jay. I think they actually went a little higher. They might have dropped a little bit now, but yeah, that's that's about where it's at.
that one. That's what we're talking about, right? All right, here we go. All right, thanks again for the fill, ladies and gents. Thank you, thank you. We're doing 1K7 Impeccable Soccer by Panini. Case break number 72. Soccer Breakers FC, that's me. If interested in joining my breaks, join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. Check us out on our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. Follow us on Instagram, Soccer Breakers. Watching on YouTube, guys, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks again, guys, for the thumbs up love. Uh, truly appreciate that. Oh, that's right. It's because we got kicked off of the last one. But thank you for that. Do a random. I know. Sorry, guys. I forgot. Let me do. I'll do the random here in a second. Before we get started, we got to do that random. Serial number random for Arsenal, Everton, Fulham, and West Brom. Yep, we will do it. All right, here. Let's do that random here in a second. Uh, where is it? There it is. I'm going to roll the dice. We re roll snake eyes. Seven times. Seven times on the randomizer. Jaron on top. Nolan on the bottom. Seven times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seventh and final. Good luck. Seven. Nolan Takata on top, Jaron on the bottom. Wow, they reversed. Nolan was on the bottom, Jaron on top. Now Nolan's on top, Jaron on the bottom. Seven times. It switched positions. This was okay. I mean, a couple of silver hollow hits, but nothing like really super low numbered or anything. We had a nice Carly Lloyd autograph. We hit, you know, obviously tons of rookies, but some silver hollows, Havertz. Uh, Smallbone, Southampton. Ashley Jones. Yep. All right, 
There we go. About Manuel Lanzini to 75, West Ham. Robert Bertovici. Mal Fulham, Harrison Reed, rookie, 11 of 35. There you go, Nolan. Nolan Takata, 11. Virgil van Dijk, 15 of 25, Liverpool, Fahim. Ooh, did I screw that up? Fulham is not Nolan. Oh, yeah, let me take that off because, you guys, I shouldn't have left that up there. history. All right, I was worried that I screwed up. It is 4 a.m., so there's a high possibility that might happen at this hour. At least a higher possibility, I should say. Liverpool, Fahim Abdullah. We'll get back to that. How about a little Sayunku? Sayunku action. 66 of 99. You know, the great thing about that card is that it's reversible. So it's still 66 of 99. And if I flip it over one more time, it's still 66 of 99. That just never gets old. Boom, did he? They're like, speak for yourself. <laughs> that got old like five years ago. But hey. I am easily amused. Lester Connor Moat. Connor Moat. Go. James Ward Prowse, Southampton, Ashley Jones. I'll tell you what, this Southampton team, Southampton and Burnley, always hit a lot, it seems. And how about Danny Ings right behind that? 24 of 25, Danny Ings. On card, that's... Not stick with it. Ashley Jones.
Indelible ink. Kai Havertz. Boom Diddy Shaka for Chelsea. There you go, Matt Cook. Indelible ink. Kai Havertz. Grab some more of these. This is going to be my last break. I'm like ready to keel over. I will do some personals. Anybody want to do a personal? I will do your personals. But no more breaks for tonight. We're already at 4.20 a.m. Firmino. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little feverish, so. Fahim. Spark of fatty. I smoke two joints in the morning. I smoke two joints at night. I smoke two joints in the afternoon. Make me feel all right. I smoke two joints in time of peace and two in time of war. I smoke two joints before I smoke two joints. And then I smoke two more. Smoke two joints. That's right. I love Sublime. Sixty of seventy five. Callum Wilson. If I could find that Hannah and that Sancho that she'd found, well, I'd pop a cap in Sancho and I'd lock her down. I think I know already. How about uh, Newcastle is boss? Bo er Lage. Number 72. Yeah, barely hanging on, but hey, why not? Boss Borlage. You also have, ooh, Boss has a couple teams there Newcastle and Leeds. Let's see what else we can do for him. How about Roman Saiz? Roman Saiz. Number 235. Wolves Antonio Herrera. Going for a little Mexico action there, probably, huh? Little Raul Jimenez auto would be nice. Right. 
All right, Roman Seis. That's going to go to Antonio Pereira. Andros Townsend, Patch, Crystal Palace. Is up. All right, so that's going to be Ashley Jones. Oh, we already had an Ashley Jones. Ashley Jones is Palace and Southampton. We have double Ashley Jones. We have one up there too. Oh, two bags for Ashley. Making sure I didn't screw that up. Nope. Trent Alexander Arnold. Ten of twenty-five. There he is, finally, Tariq Lamptey. Come on, be short print, be short print, one time. Oh, still, on Carter, nice, 10 of 99. 10 of 99, Tariq Lamptey on card. Ashley, that's Ashley too. What's that? Oh, you don't have him. I thought Charlie had him. Sorry, Charlie. I got all excited. Well, congrats, Ashley. I was thinking, getting ready to say, wait a minute. That's not Charlie. You bought one? All right. Anyway, congrats, Ashley. Sorry, Charlie. Nick Pope, 73 of 99. Nicholas Pope. Burnley, Adam Kurtleff. Little PC love for Adam there. I'm going to post a Euro here in a couple minutes, guys. If you want to get a little bit of a head start on everybody else, these are probably going to be my last two Euro breaks, at least in this format, the Euro Select, because this is, I think, the end of my Euro Select hobby. Nice one for this team. This team killing it. 86 of 99, Ward Prowse and Danny Ings dual autograph. 
Southampton murdering this break. There's an on card Ings, there's a James Ward Prowse, and then there's one, both of them together. Yeah, Southampton's almost like just, yeah, almost every case I think you're gonna get at least one auto, sometimes two or three or. Even four. How many autos is that for Southampton? Then they had two Ashley. Oh, is that was that one too? Is that also an auto? Oh, so three autos and a silver piece. Wow, Ashley's killing it, and a Lampy too. Ashley is murdering this break. Talk about you pick those teams like consistently if you between Southampton, Burnley. Southampton and Burnley seem to Southampton hits like all the time. Burnley hits most of the time. And uh, the other one is Brighton is hitting usually hits, but not Lamptey isn't that easy to hit. But not as much as the other two. Rookie autographs. Daniel Potence. Yeah, I imagine the resale isn't that great though. That's why. Uh, going to Antonio. Yeah, wolves always hit too. Wolves are very rare that the wolves don't hit. And sometimes multiple autos. Nice stuff too. A lot of potence, a lot of Jimenez. Give me one sec here, guys. Get myself situated. All right, 109 and 110 just went up. Put them right in the front of the store too. Yeah, that wall is very lackluster, actually. So there better be like a Ronaldo or a... Better be a Ronaldo or a Beckham in this one. Otherwise, not so bueno. All right, there we go. They're up, guys. If anybody 
I was waiting on some people were asking about that. There it is. It's posted. All right. Come on, gold bar. There's the loop. Nishibatsuai. 7 of 29. Nishi. That's Ashley as well. Wow, Ashley is just murdering this break. Actually have Brighton, Crystal Palace, and Southampton. Uh, all three have pretty much killed it. Congrats, Ashley. All three of your teams have killed it. Uh, Havertz isn't the case hit, but he, I mean, it's a nice hit, but it's not. He's not a case hit. So we'll do this over. We'll do this over. Oh, so this one is going to be Ashley Jones. I think we've hit. Have, has the filler hit? And that's why I need to adjust some of these filler prices and bump Southampton and drop uh, maybe Everton and West Brom. Well, West Brom and Fulham are already the cheapest teams, but. for Arsenal and for Manchester I don't think we've hit a Arsenal or a Manchester United hit yet 65 of 75 Lukas Fabianski West Ham Robert West Ham, 23 of 25. West Ham. Jamal Lascelles, 40 of 99. Newcastle, Boss.
Connor Moat, you got yourself Tillman's uh, 73 of 99. Lusker, go on to Connor. So you include also to 99. Dubrovka, 22 of 99. This needs like an awesome case hit to save it. Newcastle. Boss. Deco to ninety nine Ch -ch -ch Chelsea forty seven of ninety nine. Boom Diddy Shaka. Sorry guys, this case is a little disappointing. Uh, Hyung Min Sun. That's all we got. So here comes the Sun action. Yeah, at least Jack got something, but you know, I'm glad Jack got something for having Tottenham and Manchester United. Mother of all soccer breaks going. That's the only way to guarantee sickness in every break. Well, I've been lazy, but. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a case hit, but it's one of the, you know, it's decent, but not in a case like this. We needed more to save it. We needed Ronaldo or Beckham to save this case. But definitely under average, below average case. Uh, Tottenham, Young Bell. That one, number two, that one's to 99. Yeah, everything was to 99. 
I mean, look at this. What's the nicest patch? I mean, this is like a $4,000 product case. And I mean, what's the nicest patch? That's the disappointing part for me is that, you know, you get these tier one that's like, you know, way cheaper and tops has these crazy nice patches we need some stinking patches all right here we go recap nolan takata harrison reed i think that was like was that the only hit for the entire filler i swear i don't think the filler hit much this time Nolan Takata, Harrison Reed, Adam Kurtliff. You got uh, Nick Pope autograph. Robert Berkovici. Uh, Fabianski, Lanzini, and Bowen. For about, I don't know. What is Sun selling for us? Probably around 400, I would guess. Be 300, 400. Uh, Dubravka, Lascelles to 99, Wilson to 75. Those are boss. Then we got for the Wolves, uh, Potence Redemption and Roman Saiz. Uh, Connor Moat, you got Soyunku and Tillmans. The kids are up already. They're going to Disneyland. I haven't even got to sleep yet. All right, let's do Liverpool next. Fahim, you got Metal Card, Firmino, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold, and Virgil van Dijk. boatload of hits uh, the one person that really made out was Ashley Ashley Jones killed this break Ashley you got a metal rookie small bone uh, Townsend patch to 49 Lamptey on Carter 10 of 99 we got silver bar Mishi Mishi Batsuai, 7 of 29 so for Ashley, also for Ashley, uh, Ward Prowse to 99, Danny Ings on cart to 25, and dual autograph, Ward Prowse and Danny Ings, 86 of 99. Ashley murdered it. Chelsea, we had a Deco Auto and a Kai Havertz Indelible Ink Autograph for Matt. And Jack, sorry man, you, not such a great break, but at least you got a decent hit out of it at the end there. Uh, Youngman Sun. Sorry Jack, very uh, underwhelming break. Manchester United didn't get a single card. All right, well, let's do this. Uh, and this one, I'm gonna do personals now, guys. That's it, just the personal, and then we're gonna call it a night. Uh, I think it was Stefan, right? Stefan, you're the one who grabbed them. Uh, Eugene, I don't think so, buddy. It's Father's Day, so you know I, I think I'm gonna take. Usually I break Sundays and I don't break Mondays, but I think this week I might switch those two and break. Uh, 
not break Sunday and break Monday instead. So I can, we're going out to dinner for Father's Day and uh, I'm not sure what time I'll be back and do I want to like come back and just, you know, hang out with the family or break. So I think I'll do a little Father's Day love. Oh, thank you, Eugene. Appreciate it. All right, we're gonna do a. We're going to do a personal Bundesliga Chrome. Let me go grab this Bundesliga Chrome. Sorry. Last box. All right. Stefan, you in here? Yep, you're here. Okay, here we go. Let me erase these. Break that down. We are doing uh, one personal box for Stefan. Thank you, Stefan. All right, here we go. Good luck, Stefan. We're doing one personal box of Bundesliga Chrome for Stefan Bromhar. In case you guys didn't know, prices on Bundesliga Chrome dropped quite a bit. I matched uh, the price on Blowout, so now these are selling for $359.95. Pretty good value with all the Mukoko and Bellingham action in these and uh, other guys too. So anyway, good luck. Good luck. At $359, you can uh, do well with these. And uh, I have some more in the store. I will be putting more in the store. And... If you want them shipped sealed, I can ship them sealed as well. Did I say the order number, by the way? Where is it? Order number for Stefan was uh, 55164 for Stefan Bromhar. Good luck, Stephanie. Let's pull some deep. All right, we're just gonna go pack by pack. That way you can't sneak that play up. We got Nieder Lechner. Okay, some refractor Nelson. Yeah, it is pretty. It's pretty nice this year. So I, you know, I was surprised too that it fell this much. Yabo, yabo, dabo, do. 
So two ninety nine. Skakibar, Hertha Berlin. Number to two fifty. And the base, that's just the base. Future stars, Schlager. Coming up, Bowman, Holler, and Autograph, Green, Zaber, Schlager for Wolfsburg, 88 of 99, Schlager. Dil Rasun two of twenty five. What time are you guys leaving? Okay. Yeah, I'm still on. I'm a machine. Well, I'm going to take tomorrow off. Because you know it is a certain day, by the way. Oh, yeah, it's Father's Day. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, guys, give me a second. I'm give a Father's Day salute to Alex. It's Father's Day. Thank you. That's right, I am a machine. The Energizer Bunny. Palacios Refractor. Palacios, Future Stars. Come on, we need some Bellingham or Mukoko action. We've been skunked. There he is. Hey Jude, don't let me down. Take a sad song and make it better. Boom, Diddy, Jude. And how about Hichan Wong to go with that? 130 of 199. Hichan. Silas, Robbie Kaysan, Refractor.
case on again for Mainz. of 99 Pavlenka to 299 last few packs a little Mukoko log Richter, and last pack, come on, one time. Natasic, sorry, uh, Stefan, that wasn't a very good box. Not a very sexy box at all. So, Troy, I'll update you guys. I'll update you guys on Monday. That's the plan. It depends on how the shipping goes. Part of the problem is my shipper is leaving town for a week. So, she's supposed to come on Monday uh, to ship some stuff. And then the problem is, I don't know if this stuff's going to be sorted because Alex isn't able to sort tomorrow. So, all the stuff that's pre sorted will go out on. Uh, We'll go out on Monday and Tuesday, but the stuff that isn't pre like sorted out, then that could be a little bit of a problem. We may have a little bit of a delay on this week's shipping. So I'll update you guys on that. So if I have to sort and stuff all day Monday, that could be a problem, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you, CJ. Appreciate it. But yeah, today I'm just going to take it easy, but then I'll worry about shipping tomorrow. Uh, yes, Stefan, I will work on that. I'll be getting back to everybody. Um, I assume it's shipping. Yeah, I will be getting back to everybody on the WhatsApp in the next few days. All right, that's gonna do it for me for tonight, guys. Let's do this, Stefan Bramhaar. Anyway, thank you, Troy, thank you, Stefan, thank you, CJ, thank you, Greg. Have a very happy Father's Day to the fathers in the house. Yeah, sorry, I'm running on empty now. It's 5 a.m. We This is the latest we've gone in a while. And personal there. Anyway, thanks again. Thank you, Serge. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I will see you guys hopefully on Monday. I'll update you guys. Peace out to everybody. Have a great, happy Father's Day and see you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you, Dara. Good night, guys.